You know, our lab's looking pretty good. We've got VLAN 100 out there on Switch 2 now. Let's just verify that. We'll show VLAN brief. And we see VLAN 100 right there. So that ping should go through. We're going to test that. But first, we got to figure out how Switch 2 and Switch 3 joined the VTP domain CCNA without being expressly configured to do that. Because the only one we configured with it was router one. So what in the world happened there? Well, here's what happens in that situation. Switch one joined the VTP domain CCNA and then sent out a VTP advertisement, something we're gonna talk a lot about in the next couple of videos. And this VTP ad basically announces the existence of this VTP domain. And switch two gets that and says, hey, I don't already belong to another VTP domain. So I'm going to join that one. I'll, I'll consider that an invitation. So Switch 2 invites itself to join up, and it did just that. We saw the effects. Now it knows about VLAN 100. Switch 3 gets a VTP ad from Switch 2 about that VTP domain CCNA, and Switch 3 says, hey, I don't belong to a VTP domain yet. I'll go ahead and join this one as well. So that's how that happened. Uh, first time I saw that it freaked me out because it was a long time ago, I admit, and I was looking and I was like, wait a minute, I don't remember joining the switch to that domain. Now, the only time that this happens, this dynamic joining of a VTP domain, is if that switch receiving the ad does not already belong to a VTP domain. In other words, you're not going to overwrite an existing membership. And actually, let's just prove that right now while we're here. Let's go over to switch three and we will explicitly join the VTP domain CCNP. And we get a couple of messages there that we've joined this one. And by the way, it's one VTP domain and one VTP domain membership only. So switch three no longer belongs to the C VTP domain CCNA, now belongs to CCNP. We get a couple of confirms. You know what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna check it anyway because that's how I roll. And we've got VTP domain name CCNP right there always verify when you get a chance so we also get a message doesn't look good domain mismatch dtp our dynamic trunking protocol and we're told that we're unable to perform trunk negotiation on port 012 the one we're trunking on with switch to right now because <laughs> we're missing the s here but that's okay of a vtp domain mismatch hmm so it looks like Switch 2 did not change its VTP membership and we, domain membership, and we didn't expect it to. Let's go over to 5 and verify. And you can see right there in the middle, domain name CCNA. So again, the only time a switch will dynamically join a VTP domain like we saw here is if it didn't already belong to one. So let's go over to Switch 3 and rejoin. We got a confirm there. We're also going to check our trunk here in a second to make sure we didn't lose that. Because without that trunk, we will never be able to ping. But let's do a show VTP status first. And we've rejoined CCNA right there in the middle. And we'll do show interface trunk, make sure our trunk is still up. Everything looks fantastic. So now, can our host ping? They're both in VLAN 100 and now are switch in the middle, if you will. Switch 2 knows about VLAN 100 thanks to the VLAN trunking protocol. Let's go over and send some pings. Try that again. 10113. Goes right through. It's a beautiful thing. And that's all there is to it. So again, it's a great troubleshooting lamb on top of everything else because there's nothing wrong with checking you know, where you were, where you just configured something, and that was switch one and switch three, so we checked those out. They had VLAN 100 and everything looked good, but for VLANs to work like that, the switches between your two endpoint switches have to know about that particular VLAN as well, and that's what VTP does. And again, it's so much more efficient than trying to keep up with that manually. It will drive you crazy trying to do that. You don't want to get into that business. Coming up next, we're going to look at something, um, actually, let's look at it now. When I said coming up next, I meant coming up next. We've got show VTP status. We'll talk about these versions a little bit. We're more concerned with just getting the operation down. Definitely going to look at that revision number. But VTP operating mode of server, that is the default. We saw it very quickly on switches 1, 2, and 3. Every time we ran show VTP status, we were really looking at the domain name. But I'm sure you noticed as well that server is the operating mode there. 
Uh, these modes determine what a switch can and can't do in, VT, in a VTP domain. And coming up next, you'll see exactly what they can and can't do in each one of those modes. See you there.